Welcome, horrible people, to the Horrible Opinions Podcast. As always, I'm your horrible host, Kenny, excited to bring you our first showing of this podcast episode. Definitely not the second time we've done this one. I'm a scientist. (laughs) Yes? Okay, go on. You're a scientist. I've invented a smaller form of human called children and the purpose of this is so that we don't we can now have this smaller form of human play children in uh plays so that you don't have like a 40 year old dude pretending to be a child on stage who then makes daniel feel uncomfortable because you were attracted to him or yes and no and you wanted him to be younger is your science speech finished? <laughs> <laughs> I was done a while ago. Okay. Um, this is the first time I, I'm going to ask you this. This first time. It's not the second time. Which one of you... Uh, let me see if I get Which one of you street urchins wants to split my myth? Not as good the second time. <laughs> it's myth? <laughs> it's myth. <laughs> was, it, was the myth good the first time? When I cor- very first when time, I corrected your probably boat, not either. Because it was listing. But some, l- l- some- uh, Listeners, I want you to know the first time we recorded this was better than this time. It was gold. We'll never get that back. Thanks, Cox Internet. Here goes the baker with his bread like always. <laughs> <laughs> the same old human meat to sell. I don't want to eat the toenails. I, in fact, I'm kind of disappointed they don't wash the bodies first. If you're confused, we're talking about the... Dick hands galore in this. Sweetie no Todd. No one's washing anything. The Demon Barber of Ugh. Fleet Street. Not the movie. Not the movie. A better version. Probably. It's a play. A bro- it's a musical. It has Angela I wouldn't Lansbury. Say it, you know what? I wouldn't say it's a better version. There's like a little man creature masquerading as a child. And there's that one lady right. better version. who's very good. But then it's like she's a little bit screechy, though, so I don't really know what she's saying, but it's a very talented screech. It's just not for me. Question for that scientist. Yeah. Were you also the one who invented those those humans without penises that could play, like, the women in the plays, too? Oh, no, that was done a while ago. Uh, that was before my time. Mm. Mm. But they inspired your work. Yeah, 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 they did. Because we're like, ah, we need women. How do we, how do we get those? For the place, because it used to be just dudes. Yeah, all dudes. All dudes. D- all dudes. Oh, was this when Adam was still walking around with two ribs? I don't know problem- Adam. I don't know him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know you from Adam. So if you find pictures of me with Adam, that ain't, I didn't know it. I, you know, someone just came up to me and said, they'll just take a picture. I don't know him. <laughs> Epstein, yes. Epstein, but not Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> Epstein. <laughs> Never Epstein. Potato, Epstein. Potato. Absolutely. Kenny, is this your favorite Murder, She Wrote episode? Yeah, probably. It's gotta be. But, like, I don't know. I know who did it! Us! Ha <laughs> ha! But, like, th- I think this is going on the entire time in Murder, She Wrote. I think she kept the business going. Because everywhere she goes, someone dies. That's- well, she retired from this to... Well, I, I guess she dies. No, no, no. Her, 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 her ash gets... Re- it, so that's how she gets to America. That's how she gets to Cabot Cove. Because it goes up the chimney... Right, it goes across the across the oh, creek. Oh, like a witch. Yeah, yeah. And it, it cools down, a condensation, it's on the outside, and she forms and again. And a baby on the boat inhales the ashes. And he says, I'm high as shit now! And is infected with the original sin that is Mrs. Talking back uh, to your husband. Mrs. Uh, Nellie Lovett. Mrs. Nellie Lovett. Oh, she loved it. What's a synopsis of this wonderful, nothing's wrong with it, everything is absolutely perfect, not one thing could be changed to make this better musical, Daniel. <laughs> okay, a barber, he's got a great family, a hot wife, and a, a, a what daughter. wife? <laughs> a hot one! And uh, she's the hottest around, is what I'm told, from what I've heard. Uh, is that a crime? No. For it can her, get you no, accused not, of one, though. It's not her crime, it's his crime. You know? mm. So he gets locked up because she's too hot, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. And uh, he gets sent away for 15 years. His family gets taken away from him. And then he gets out and he wants revenge on those who done did it to him. Does he get it? Yeah. And they're singing and dancing. Is he happy about it? Yeah. It's a happy ending. Should 
A very Korean happy ending. <laughs> Korean barbecue is delicious. They cut his tongue out? Uh, no, a different Korean. Oh, okay. There's so many oh. flavors of Korean, Ryan. They killed the giant pig and made meat pies. <laughs> that, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe they could like revenge. No one wins with revenge. No, I the think he I think does. he got what he wanted. It was just at a cost. Right. So he didn't win. What, what is winning in a Not revenge? Not killing your wife? Look. Whoa. Well, Sometimes isn't killing she your wife the is cause winning. of all of his problems? Really? I, yeah, if she had just said, instead of, hey, sailor boy, you want to split this muff? If she had said, oh, by the way, I'm his wife. Man, I'm his wife. His wife. No, that's the wrong Sweeney Todd. He's in the other one. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. So what did you think of this first song? The, the ballad of Sweeney Todd as he's coming in on a boat. No, this is before that. This no, is when that's all they, the first. Yeah, they're all on stage. They're staring at you. They're moving shit around. They're all dirty. They're taking they're down that dirty. big, dirty sheet, the big piss sheet. The one you love. We got a guy love. with those intense eyes. Yeah. And we got a guy with raccoon eyes. And then we got a guy with a great mustache. And then I'm like, okay, if these people know what's going to happen and they don't do something about it, they're just as guilty. Well, this isn't really this isn't really happening. This is for us. How do you how do you mean it's not really happening? I'm just, I'm watching it happen. No, well, you you see, it's like it's a story, Kenny, and it's like they're they're preparing us for the story. You got to get ready for the girl? story by them telling you what the story is you know, gonna. What's you know, gonna otherwise, you story. might be freaked out by what what about at the deliciousness of these oh. pies? Okay, so that's a thing with plays where they show you a trailer of the play that you're watching. Yeah, only this one. Is it a in, or no, I guess not she's only no. this one. Hamilton okay. does it. I was going to say, name one. Okay, Hamilton. I can only name one. Um, <laughs> Would this be called a forward? Pro, uh, a f- I think Hades Town no, might do no, it, a, too. No, a prologue is like... Prologue gives you a little bit, but doesn't... No. We were this trying is to like, figure this out. You know out. what? This is the back cover of the book. Oh. This is the... This is a, the, their commercial for what, what we're about to get. I love commercials for the things I'm already watching. Right? Thanks, I mean, Amazon. I like it. Thanks. I like the song, the first song up to a point until, as you said, the, the screechy banshee women come in and just hit that octave that bursts all the, the glassware in my house. You have glassware? Oh, yeah. Get rid of that plastic, dog. Go get porcelain. I, go get you, some glass. You could even say it's fine china. Ha! <laughs> nope. Why Made do they call Taiwan? it china? I don't know. Did they get it from China first? Ryan? I, I honestly don't know. I assumed it's because it was made in China first. They then, invented plates? Then exported everywhere else. Uh, I think whatever the process was. Oh my god. I don't know. Fireworks look. and plates, y'all. You could look up this, but I ain't doing it. Well, if you look it up where you're at, they're gonna obviously say it's because of them. Because that's what they do there, you know? Whoa. Yeah, we did that. Yep, take credit Whoa. for everything. Moonwalk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not Michael Jackson. It was... No, uh, it was us. It was... Except it was Michael. Oh, I Ma. thought you were saying okay. Michael, they, Michael Chong. Thought you were saying they landed on the moon first. Oh uh, well, we landed on the backside of the moon first. Suck that. You got people is it cheese on it still. No. Uh, oh, I don't know. That's secret. Because it's the dark. I like side how he's taking lit. credit for that. You know, like he was there for that. I watched a launch. Hey, I watched the launch of the Xbox 360. So you know, we got that in common. I ate launch once. The DBZ character. I wish. Were there any fingernails in your launch that you ate? No, I remove all fingernails and hair before I grind into meat. I mean, it's, that should just be standard practice, right? Like, they weren't washing them. Someone, someone's eating the meat pies that's got majority dick in them. No, no. Because it's put all it through the grinder together. three times. Okay, three so times. It all gets put together. Yeah. Now there's probably some rat. All right. Well, that's Delicious. extra. That's bonus. Well, no. What if the corpse gets a boner when I'm grinding it? Does that make me gay? I mean, only if you have that sex with it. You and actually, I don't not sure what that would make. That'd make you a necrophiliac. I don't know. I've been grinded on before, like three times, and by got me corpses. Going. What? <laughs> yeah, three times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look like corpses. They all look like corpses in this uh, play. It's like you it's look dead as hell. London. It's not so great. Not so great. You like this first song? 1846. Done, done. They talk funny, and I like Yeah, that. they talk funny, and I don't like it. Oh, disagree, I guess. Why come not everyone talk good like me and stuff, you know? I don't know, but I do appreciate Sweeney Todd right off the bat being like, 
hey, bright and optimistic young man who's like 15, possibly, but also like 48. Let me fucking tell you how much the world is shit ass. Yeah, life sucks. Sweeney Todd is a time traveler. He's from the now. He knows. I don't think people back then really knew. I just don't think it's changed that much. Oh, shit. London? Life never changes. Yeah, it always sucks. Uh, there's a hole in the world like a great black pit, and it's filled with people who are filled with shit. The vermin of the world inhabit it. London! London. London. You gotta throw your arms out in your hands and do spirit fingers. London. There you go. Doing did it. the guy... Did, uh... Uh... George Hearn... Does his shoulders seem really broad to you? Does he seem like a really big no, man? No, but his fists seem tiny. Maybe that's because his arm, his shoulders are so broad, but I think it might have been the shirt. Because he's clenching his fist through my, throughout most of this, and they just look so tiny. He's got a little hand rage. He's got a little hand rage. I think we should not do the little art with the Arthur hand. Instead, it should be him. Ooh, maybe. Also, were you guys impressed that they had boat cars back then? I'm impressed at how they... S- how they solved, prob- solved problems. How they solved the problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How are you going to show a boat on a stage? Now, normally, Daniel, just you don't put a bunch of water. Drag it. You, you put wheels under the boat, and you show them dragging it, and you do it all on camera in front of everybody. You know what? And it's then theater, it, it baby. it lets me use my imagination as well. Yeah, it's good. It's fine. It's cool. Stagecraft. Love it. Yeah, good boat no, car. No magic tricks, Kenny. No CGI. No cutting away. No split screen, no nothing. Just rope and muscle. And a lot of makeup. We get this depressing, you know, odd couple rolling in on this little boat. It's like a corpse, and then it's like Rocky Horror together. And uh, they immediately meet a high-quality sex worker. <laughs> high-quality. Well, for that time, high-functioning. High-functioning. And, you know, then we find out London, Local London legend. is full of half-crazed beggar women. And I'm just like... Let's be glad they're not full crazed, you know? He just gives her the money, you know, just for nice niceness, and then she offers for the muff to be split. Well that well that's she figures, oh he has money. She didn't money. need to do that. No, no, no. no, no you no, see, no, no. this is a this is a way around the, the laws, Daniel. I didn't give you money to split the miff. Wink. Like, ah. Yeah, she's like, thanks for this money. You know what? You're a nice fellow. I'm gonna be nice to you too. Now you can split this miff. Um, no sexual exchanges. You're making have me uncomfortable. Here. I'm just a 15 year old sailor, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the sea age is a boy, though. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. <laughs> I'm gonna create teens next. Make them, make them, and you know what those teens are really gonna like? When fucking Sweeney starts like freestyling over there, he's just like wicked, 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 whipping it. Like it was. Ugh. I'm not gonna tell you what he said because you I know didn't the write problem with this that that Hamilton solved. What's no, that? There's no rapping. There's no rapping in. But it was practically rapping in this this song by Sweeney. Just imagine though, like Eminem played Sweeney Todd. That's what I'm saying. It'd be dope as shit. Yeah. There's know. also no black people there. I'm sorry. I mean, it's London. <laughs> yeah. There's no that. that yeah. You know what? Yeah. You know what? That I'll invent them next. <laughs> yeah. That's all. That go problem. Well. Everyone's oh, gonna like God. them. They. Sh- not everyone's going to like your inventions, and it's not going to make any sense as to why. <laughs> uh, you know, I like how there's so many songs in this about liking the ladies, because, you know, I do like them. <laughs> they, I like them, and they <laughs> like they me like back. Me back uh. So what do we got? We got them arriving. We got them singing. They're Antony. Is it Antony or Anthony? It's Antony, and I hate it. Daniel it's loves Antony. It's spelled Anthony. Yeah, but it's... They it's say Antony. Si- silent H. Antony, he's all like, I'm 15, I'm taller, I've got chest hair, I'm 15 going on 40. <laughs> but I can sing. Sure can't sing. And he's he's like, I'm sure glad I picked you out of that, that boat wreckage. And Sweeney's all, yeah, I'm glad too. Yeah, yeah <laughs> appreciate it. Thanks, fam. I didn't want to die. I don't want to die. That's pretty, that's very skibbity of you. Yeah, it's oh. fine. <laughs> and he's all crapping on London. He's like, why are you so crapping on London? What's your problem? And he's like, let me tell you the story of a barber and his wife. It was too hot for London. She was too hot. So hot. And you know what? And that barber, he was naive. You know what happens to people who are naive in this time period, Daniel? They lose their too hot li- wife. He's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> is that other people see how hot she is. And then they, and then they want her. Like Buffalo Bill, they covet. 
what's close and what they can see. And then they, they, and then they fugitive you. But what did they do to her? Oh, Daniel, that is, that's to come. You know what they did to her. I'm just not, I'm not very clear on it. I, I, I think it was, uh... As shown to me, well, they yeah. invited her to a party that she didn't know anyone at, and then a weird guy in a trench coat flashed her. Don't you hate when that happens to you? Yeah, but do, do you notice how while he was flashing her, he also was, like, on top of her? Right, but he was wearing pants. I saw his Well, well that his full pants. frontal nudity at, in the general audience probably wouldn't have flown, you know? All right, I'm going to invite, I'm going to invent that next, too, as well, I guess. Daniel Radcliffe is going to appreciate that. Yeah. Get him a horse. Yeah, I'll, I'll invent horses, too. Hell yeah. I got a list. Whose list is it? Angie. Oh, that's a lot better than Schindler's. <laughs> no, Schindler's list was good. Yeah, but the fact that he had to make that list wasn't. The fact that anyone has to make any list, I would say, unless it's like a list of like good, good things. You like your good list, right? Like groceries. Yeah, but I guess lists are OK. I guess I'm neutral on lists. It, you could have a bad list or a good list is what we've established. I just don't want to be on a list. I know that. Well, you're in one. Shit. Well, What's your favorite dinosaurs. All of them. That's a good list. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I always liked uh, Who Gives a shit Oh. What? Shit. Well, he would personally like them, considering he lived during the time of them. <laughs> vermin. <laughs> piece, piece Earth walking vermin everywhere. All I know is, at some point, I look at the TV and I go, There she is! <gasps> Did you come Sweet here for baby. a pie, sir? Yeah, dog. Not really, I heard they're the worst pies in London. Oh, well, she tells him that. They're probably yeah. the worst pies in London. She's got like that frantic like crack energy in this role. Yeah. She uh it's it's great. It's great. Yeah, it is great. She's a delight on screen. Uh I still think she looks like Barf from Spaceballs, but yeah, she's great. Ooh, I'm gonna make a mog creature neck. There you go. I I never seen her move around like with this much. Energy I ain't never seen her move off. like this. Well, yeah, she's, she's not doing a lot of dancing, shit. a lot of her own stunts on Murder She Wrote. Right? It's very except the episodes where she gets to play her cousin, her British cousin. What? There's episodes in Murder She Wrote where she has to go to London because she's got a cousin who's Who in looks England, suspiciously like her. Well, because it's her, it's her. Wow! And then Damn. she gets to like do she gets to do this kind of stuff. They're good. They're fun episodes. You know, this was two years, I think, for Murder, She Wrote, Tane. And how old is she? I couldn't. 138. Not a day older than, I'd take a piece of that. Worst pie in London. Ryan oh, wants to split that myth. If you doubt it, take a Her. bite. Is that just disgusting? Oof. She tells him she's making pussy pie. Well, no, I think her friend, there's someone else who makes pies, and they, they get all the pussy cats. But she can't chase them know. pussies down because them pussies fast. Them pussies fast. She can't catch those pussies. I think she's just trying to have deniability saying like, it's cat. But like, if you're asking me, it ain't cat. But what's the problem if it was it's cat? cat. Um, Cats eat the rats. Right. And that's how we keep the plague from coming back. Yeah, we need those cats. Uh, they, ate, they ate a cat and they, they invented COVID-12. Mongolian marmots. No, I'd eat that in a pie. That's where the plague came from. I don't buy that. Why is everyone blaming the Mongolians? Well, no, it's the Mongolian marmot. Why can't it be the English marmot? I don't know that that exists. I don't know that it doesn't exist. Do you know that a Mongolian I marmot don't... exists? No, I don't. But I said it. Fucking this guy probably has his own lab over here. You want me to make sh you and I should make that? <laughs> I'll make a, I'll make an English marmot. <laughs> I appreciate it. It needs to have an accent. Chip, chip. Chip, chip. So she kills it. She's all frantic, crazy energy. It's it's throwing me off. Like I said, I'm, I'm like, damn, I thought maybe it'd be a little more subdued, like still fun. But like she's over there, like shoulders are working in this one. She's like shrugging, gyrating I'm like Angie, calm down. I need you to be spry for murder. She wrote, don't waste it all here, you know. But you know what? I knew this barber. Yeah. And he had a wife. How hot was Smoking she? Smoking hot. So OK, she. Was, she well, no, she, was she fine. But you know what? is talking about the barber that being barber, though, hot. Yeah, he was beautiful. And I'm like, she's going to be so embarrassed. And she finds out that that's him? That's him. He's just a corpse now. <laughs> what was his name? That What was his name, that barber? Uh, uh, Bob Barker. Oh Johnny Depp. 
Benjamin Bark. Benjamin Button Barker. Oh, uh, we were both wrong. You know what his crime was? Hottest wife in London. Foolishness. That's right. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you know what? The uh, you know some shit happened to her. But you know what? Joanna. She's there still. You know, that's the baby. Joanna. They had a baby. I feel you, Joanna. Couldn't do that. She's a baby. Yeah, they had a baby. And look, mommy, she dead. The baby. Nah, she doesn't say she's dead. What happened? Oh, all right. She gone. No. She no. says she took a. She took a. She tried. She poisoned herself. She, she drank said. poison. Drank poison. Drink. Mm. It's not. Te- it's there. not a lie, Daniel. It's not a lie. It's an. Al- it's a lie by omission, Ryan. It's half a. Yeah. Well, you, did, you didn't ask a follow up. Where's her grave? No one asked. You know what? Yeah. If I don't think actually they're doing cared graves. more. Oh, what do you think they're doing? Burning them. Pies. They're Wrong, doing pies. Daniel. They're, they're doing them. pies. <laughs> we got pies. We got cookies. We got. We got cookies. We got burritos. Um, chorizos. What do you want? We got it. I don't think I don't think they had Mexican food yet. Do you want toenails or fingernails? I, was say, I could go for a torta. Well, I don't want any could of the you nails. Maybe show me my beautiful shaving kit. Oh yeah, hey, look, I took this uh, when you were distracted, and like I could have sold it. I could have sold it. Instead, I think I've probably been diddling myself with them for the last fifteen years. No, them shiny silver so and steel, man. I could, probably could have got like five quid or something for him. Is that a lot? Is that a lot? I don't know. Oh. Okay. I don't speak London. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I, I needed subtitles. Yeah. Yeah, but listen, they, these are my friends. And they're, oh, they're saying something. What are you saying? Clear for me. Clear what? for me. <gasps> oh, has someone hurt us? I want you to care for mm. me. Who do you want? Who do you want to taste, little razor blades? The judge! Super goatee man. You're the judge. Someone seriously using a hairdryer with the door open? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Mm, I can't hear it. Kill the wife! Kill the Make it drip rubies. <laughs> rubies. So you need rubies. Rubies is worth. Yeah. Dripping ruby. Yeah, creeper goatee man, ruining everything as usual. Wife poisoned herself. I tried to help her, okay? I did! I did. I tried to help her. I tried sold to get her to drink dog. more. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, no. Could mm. mm-hmm. have sold the blades, but though I realized these are your friends. Okay, I've always had a fondness for you, dude. You should move in with me. We can solve murders together. Gonna drip some, drip some rubies. That means by rubies, I mean blood drops, guys. Wow. He's gonna be slicing Thank throats, you. and that's not a very good oh. like, barber. Well, it, how close a shave do you want? I like it when, like, the first layer of skin comes off and you get that second layer, you know, like after a nice light sunburn. That's what I like. Ooh, yeah. I don't shave. Crispy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Daniel, well, you got to remember about Sweeney Todd. He never yeah. forgot and he never forgave. And he that's forgot what his wife looked his like. Mistake. He, oh, well, he never forgot and forgave revenge, Kenny. To be fair, she's ugly. Now. Always now. has been. No, no, no. She was. Probably they could afford water before. Now there's no water anymore. I know they're in London and like there's rivers and streams everywhere, but yeah, but people poo and pee in those. Exactly. You ain't gonna be going in there. This this myth, whatever. This docking port for all you sailor boys out there. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 Do you like how she like gets real dirty with them, but then she like go back to like asking for alms for the poor? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta play every card I, I in your deck. It was she has something wrong shocking. with her. I was shocked. Shooketh. At what point? Where never, she raised I her skirt to go like... I nobody ask, split, split this myth, muff. And I ain't... Whoa! <laughs> That's... And this is 1981? Two? It's a- 1846. 18... Sorry, I forgot. It's 1846. It, it's, it's 1846. Come on. 1846. And they... She means muffin. They're gonna toast it. It's an English... Muffin down there. Yeah. Why is it down there? Is that where, is that to keep it warm? Yeah, <laughs> it shouldn't have a handbag. It's to keep the rats away because they don't go anywhere near it. And it's probably with all the yeast down there. That's just where it grew oh my. into a bread. Well, that would make it cook good. You need the yeast, you need right? The yeast. <laughs> it's gotta. I don't be... know that you use yeast in muffin. Look, I don't know, man. It's not my job. It's yours. Yeah, but I'm I don't know it. anything. Is that how oh, we're gonna go? Is that how baking works? It doesn't matter. Where are we gonna go, Kenny? Are we? Is it time for well, Joanna? 
Yeah, we're gonna go see this bitch who's really going for it with these birds. <laughs> How dare she's you? Got, like, she's fifteen, whole, going on thirty. Her whole head thing is making me itch. Okay, she's like got her like hair? all this hair, and it's then a lot like of a hair. tight. Yeah, and then she's got like a bonnet thing over it, and then she starts singing, and I'm like, "You look like Bo Peep on crack." I thought Bo and Peep on crack would be itchier. I don't think she looks like Bo baby. Peep on crack. Bo and Peep then, on crack. Bo Peep. I don't remember what this in relation is in relation to, but I said she's they're giving them the old same, same, but different. Uh, so she's singing about a bird. She's singing to the oh. birds that are in their cages. asking, why are you sing? Do you know? Do you want to be let free? Because it's really her because she's in a cage, right? That's what it is. They're the same. Yeah. But different. And then uh, Anton, 15 year old Antony, who's like been to war and shit. Or something. I don't know. Do we ever figure out like what his real deal is? Like people know. grew up faster back then. Okay. Yeah, because they died faster. Well, Dude he was seen the on whole this world. boat, uh, the Demet, the De- the Dementor, the Demeter? Dementor, Dementor, the Dementor. And there was the last, there was the last a, voyage of it. There was a Dracula on board, and that's why he had to grow up so fast. Mm, dude, Draculas make people grow up fast. So like the dude has seen the whole world, but then he falls in love with crack peep here. Look, he's been to Rome. He's been to Italy. He's been to Spain, Tibet. But I'd be shocked if he had been to Rome, but not Italy. But here Ooh. in the shithole of London, he hears this beautiful sound. And you know what? He has to buy a bird. You got to buy a bird. Well, you know, hey, lady, look at me prance. I think this like, bird was dead. And then, uh, no, uh, it definitely is by the end of just it. Just blind. How do you keep him from uh, escaping? Oh, we blinds them. We do, sir. But it wasn't mm. moving. That's, That's rude. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like their 1980s puppet technology, Daniel? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that another fucking thing I have to invent is goddamn birds? No, they yeah, had probably. one. We saw it. And we, then we saw its neck go, like, Pretty. slinkied. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, he did. He did murder that bird. Do you guys ever walk outside someone's house, someone's, someone's house in a big city, and you're like, I wonder who lives here? And you go, one moment, street urchin. Who's this bitch that lives here? <laughs> I don't phrase it that way. Well, you should try it. Oh, that's Joanna, the judge's ward. Hmm, well, this is a big city, so it concerns me that everyone knows who Sorry, this is. Sorry, his ward and future wife. Oh, she wait. must split her myth for everybody. Nope, just the, just the judge. No, not even mm. him. She, that's why she's so close. Those clothes are tight. He'll get her. He'll oh, get her. <laughs> it was at this point, I was thinking to myself, what if the gang did Sweeney Todd? Okay. That's it. Just picture it. Is, it's is great. D Joanna? Okay, so D is jo- No, actually, I think I like Artemis as Joanna. Artemis is Joanna, and uh, uh, D is the Frank- sailor boy. Artemis is Joanna. Frank is the sailor boy. Frank is the judge. You think Frank is the judge? No, 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 no. That's that's too obvious. You got to like. Yeah. Frank, okay. Come on. You need who, who's who could be we, guest star? Who's our guest star for judge? Rickety. That would make no, me Rickety like something. is Pirelli. You mean okay? That so, works. So guest star, yeah. you mean like a character, a pre-established character? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying they could get Ryan Reynolds. They probably could now. Dennis is obviously Todd, right? Yes. Okay, who's Charlie? Charlie. Char- <laughs> Can Charlie be Miss Lovett? <laughs> Charlie's Miss Lovett. <laughs> Charlie's Miss Lovett. Okay. <laughs> who's Who's Mac? Um. Maybe Mac is Pirelli. Mac Mac's the police guy. I don't know if he. Well, mm. I forget what he is. Uh, who is that? That is... Oh, that's Beetle Barnford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam. Beetle. That's Beetle. So he'll, put, Beetle. he'll put the weight back on. Maybe he'll some of the, the height. Back on. He'll have to get some, like, and he'll be doing, lifts. <laughs> and he'll be doing karate and that long <laughs> coat that goes all the way to the floor. <laughs> like when, when the guy co- gets caught at the insane asylum or whatever, he blows the whistle and starts doing karate at him. Okay, so uh, Danny DeVito is going to play Toby. Tobias. He's going to play the, the little kid. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And D can be the homeless lady. Yeah. Yeah. That's we did it. Practically de- de- there we go. The gang solved the shit out time. of that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. Look here, uh, bird salesman. Which one of these is your sexiest singing bird? I need to give it to a lady, though. It's definitely this one. The mm. most expensive one. There you go. You're right. Good. That good makes thinking. sense. That makes now sense. It goes, Goes outside this house of this person he's never met, and he yells, "Hey, lady, got you this bird. It's your responsibility now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take care of it. You don't do that. You don't just give someone a pet, man. That's just rude. Cause like that's a life I gotta take care of now. And then you don't walk up to some stranger and go, 
I feel you, dog. I'm going to steal you, dog. And I'm, I'm like, going to take you out of here. Wait, wait. Are you the idiot who was just see- just yelling at me that I should look at them? Like not five look minutes ago and now you've shown up me, with a blind singing bird? Yeah, do you want to free it? It'll do great in the wild. Oh, shit. People are going to come over here. I'm going to get real mad. And you're going to see my rage real quick. I'm going to I'm a tear this bird cage in half. Whoa. He's so poor strong. Bird, poor bird was innocent. You know what? That's true love, though. I can tell. They're, it's going to be great. They're going to have a great relationship. Nobody's going to be scarred leading up in this relationship. It's all going to be great. Love at first shout outside your window, you know? Look. Tale is all this time. I'm gonna now steal let's get you. over here. I'm going to steal you. Do they think they could hide you? I'm at your window. I'm in the dark beside you. Now, just hearing these lyrics, how do you, yeah, Daniel's making a face. I'm buried sweetly in your yellow hair. One day I'll steal you. Till I'm with you then. I'm with you there. Sweetly buried in your yellow hair. This is like that song. I forget who sang it, but it's like, if I, if I was invisible, if I could just watch you in your room. You know that creepy ass song? No. Oh. Every step you take. That's a different one. That's a different Every move one. you make. Yeah, but same, same. Same, same. It's like, oh, this is very nice until you're like, wait. Hold on. I don't know you. Why are you peeping uh, in yeah, on me? Yeah, but how are you going to get to know me if I don't loiter in your room? I'm going to strangle you. Fair. I'm going to do sexy stuff to you. Maybe in that order. I don't know. <laughs> Does it matter? It's my party. You don't matter. It's Ooh. fine. You know what breaks us out of this? The greatest commercial of all time. Ladies and gentlemen. I thought you'd like this. Harry may I have your attention, please? Do you wake up every morning in shame and despair to discover your pillow is covered with hair? Do you? Do you? My hair is a uh, fine enough color that I don't. I only notice my wife's hair everywhere, and she should be more concerned than me because her hair is everywhere. How do they lose all that hair and still have a head full of hair? It'll catch up to it. them. It'll catch up to them. One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> it's going like to catch up keeper. to them. Yeah, my note was Ryan needs to get some of the stimulating elixir. I, I can tell. Now, I did appreciate that uh, our little, our sweet little baby 40 year old boy, uh, the drum head was wore out. You know, that's a nice touch. Don't give him a brand new drum head. Look too fancy. He's a worn out drum head. Yeah. He's out. He's out. He's banging his damn drums. He's out there like, buy our shit. It's great. And then some rude ass people show up like, hmm, smells like piss. Looks like piss. Well, that's this that's, is piss. <laughs> that's Sweeney. He's like, yeah, this looks like piss. Song goes on this a little bit. Bag. It smells like piss. This is piss. I'm like, yeah. I was laughing. That's how, did, oh, how would you know it's piss if you don't drink it? He didn't drink it. I don't need to know. Think about that. Smells like piss. You don't need no instructions to know piss. <laughs> it's piss. Piss is piss. I'm looking, I'm looking at this boy, though, and I'm thinking, what is this hairstyle, boy? You, well, you live with a barber, and you got this shitty hair. You look like a medieval Billy Ray Cyrus. I can't afford the hair, the, the shave and a cut, sirs. Well, no, you can afford a shave, because I'm pretty sure if they didn't shave you, you'd have a full beard, because you're 35 years old. Full beard, sir. (laughs) Sweeney Todd remembers this boy was a boy when he was here last time, 15 years ago. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Toby, it's me, remember? We went to school together. (laughs) And then he fucking code switches. Oh, hey, man. (laughs) Hey, 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 how you doing? Hey. Yeah, this is my gig now. I'm over here selling this this piss. drum. I, 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 pretend to be, I pretend to be a little boy and uh, I help this guy out. Like, oh, yeah, buy some if stuff. If you eat fish, it's a different kind of piss. That's different true. Kind of fish. Asparagus. Asparagus. Ooh, that's different. That's elixir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where yeah. is Pirelli? I want to buy this elixir. Where is Pirelli? I'm going to come out of this thing like a bat out of hell. I'm going to be blowing kisses. And I'm like, don't do that. You ever heard of COVID? Probably not. But Probably not. Get it. I bet they haven't you know heard what? of it. Let's have a shave battle. You want to you have a here. shave battle with me, the king of the babas, the baba of kings? I haven't seen you shave a single person. You're out here selling piss. I'll You're blow you a diversi- kiss. <sighs> nah, don't oh. do it. You've diversified your portfolio too much. I my elixir? Wait, which one of you said my elixir is piss? Uh, uh, I she did. did. It's piss. It's piss. You got to me! <laughs> it is piss, but it's good piss. But I'll be pence. My piss make the hair grow. Capes are cool. Capes are cool. Let's bring them back. Why did we ever stop wearing capes? Because right, they we get 
caught in like airplane tur- turbines <laughs> and they get caught in doors ah! and people could step on them and then ah! you trip. Oh, they're still cool though. Get right? caught in an escalator. I don't have a sound I can make for that. What's a good your cape just got caught in an escalator sound? Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That, that sound oh effect god. can work for many things. You know what? We need a fancy pants judge, so come over here, fancy pants. Come judge. I'm fa- I'm Beetle. I'm fancy. I'm man of yeah, you, people. Like I would just be touching his suit like all the time. It just looks so like rub my, rub face, my face on it. On it. Oh my oh! god. Dude, Jeez. dude is, <laughs> and you know, it's so big, we could both be doing it at the same we, time. And we would never see each other. We wouldn't see other. each other because he's huge. He's a big boy. Hell yeah. Okay, look. All right. We're going to do the shave competition. You're going to get your guy that you're going to shave. I'm going to get this guy that's already completely shaved. <laughs> uh, wait, you're telling me this? I mean, it's going to be pretty obvious. because No, he's got a full beard. I see it. No, no, no. One guy does. Yeah, Shouldn't it's like we... I sit down in Pirelli's chair and Ryan sits down in Sweeney's chair. Uh, it's the opposite. It's the opposite, Dan. Sweeney had a guy Pirelli with, had the who guy had a, with a lumberjack no beard. Hair. Yeah, well. Oh. I mean, they both had guys who I'm pretty sure they just like ripped the tape off and off the beard came. No. Oh, yeah. They were shaving. Oh, yeah. It take it to skill. It take it to break. It take it to skill. It take it to He's fucking hosing this guy with like fucking cream everywhere. He's like working on his lather and he's Wah, wah, lather going ever getting all over Pirelli shit. I love I love this in every version of this I've seen. Fucking Todd's is over there fucking was it stropping on the leather? Sure. Yes, you you Stro- strap on your leather, yeah. <laughs> it's stropping. It's strop. Okay. Yeah, Stroppy. strap on. Yeah. Uh, they don't have those back then. I bet they did. Add it to your list of inventions, Sam. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be real popular. He's just over there, like, shade or like sharpening this thing, and the other dude's over there, like, fucking, oh, you know what? This guy ain't even shaving yet. I'm gonna fucking slow down too, because that's that's tortoise in the hair, classic. Hair always wins, you know? Fucking flop, 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 flop. And then he's like cutting the dude real aggressive, like, and I'm like, oh, damn, that's, oh. Uh. And then he keeps singing, and I'm like, he's like, oh, and I'm gonna do the thing, and I'm doing the thing, and I'm like, cut of the hair and shut of the fuck up. Oh, this, this was during my long bling. Do you like, mm. uh, you like barbers who prattle? I mean, I'll, I can have a conversation. I don't need it. I, I wouldn't. Have it. I mean, I don't. If I did, silent. That's right. Someone else is touching your body. You need nobody to say a word. So you could just pretend. I don't want a word. We're you just pretending this isn't happening. Look, I don't want to be here any more than you want me to be here. Right. You really I'll pay want extra me to be if here? you don't talk. You know, that, I'm surprised that's not an option these days. Don't they have like the quiet ride choice for like all those ride share things now? Probably have a quiet cut choice. Or actually, what? you can talk, but don't ask me any questions that require Don't require you to talk. Right, Spend right, Spend the right. next 45 minutes telling me how cute I am. <laughs> but don't expect me to say don't, anything. No, don't rant, look at me. Rant, rant to me about your favorite politician. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and <laughs> but occasionally say how cute I am. Yeah, Keep your hands at 10 sl- and 20. Got it. I got it. Slip that in there. And then maybe slip, slip it something in there. else in there. Hey, you know, split this myth. Todd wins by a landslide. It's embarrassing. I'm pretty sure that other guy probably would have died because he uh, Pirelli's going real hard there, and I, that ain't good. But you know what? He's a gracious loser. He ain't secretly mad. Like, here's your money, man. It's great. It's great. Yeah, kicks his old boy, shuts up his shop, get the fuck out of there. And then the fancy judge, Beetle Man, comes over, and they're all chugging. He's like, hey, man, you're pretty good. You know, you got a shop around here? Oh, yeah, it's above this meat pie shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you the closest shave ever and he turns the audience and he goes wink he says it he says i like your decision to not wink when you said that because that's why he says wink it's physically impossible for him to do it to say it and wink at the same time yeah wink can't that see you did the wink after wink nope still after wink doing it on the wink (laughs) no you just blink (laughs) wink 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 wink. you know what what's up i think uh i think we can get ourselves some blackmail going Oh, because they're in their little back and forth. Whenever Sweeney says, I'll wager you these blades that I'm better than you and you wager five quid or whatever. And it's like, ooh, these are really, really nice blades. I'll take that bet. These are blades someone wouldn't forget. Essentially, he doesn't say it exactly like that, but he implies that you would always be able to recognize these blades because he did. So so Beetle goes to get the judge because he's going to bring the judge over for a shave, right? Yeah. OK. And then 
Judge is up uh, there, and so so now so now the play should be over because Sweeney is going to kill him, right? You would think. I mean, he, he's right there, right there. But Why the sailor he? boy uh, wad- waddles in, all excited. Like, I don't, how did he know Sweeney Todd lived there? I don't know. Uh, but he does, and then he's like, "I'm going to marry this Joanna." And then the judge is like, "My Joanna? I think not." There's I only one Joanna know. in this city. Well, and I've been grooming her. That's, yeah, like get that's, your own I, groom. Groom ass. I feel like groomy. Doesn't that all all happen after the blackmail confrontation with Pirelli, though? It happens before. I think. I don't know. Long blinks, you know. Hold on. No, 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 no. The Pirelli confrontation happens first because I wouldn't write my notes out of order. That'd make no you, sense. You I'd would. watch the movie in order. You absolutely would. You're crazy. I am crazy. No, no, no. First, it's the Pirelli shows up at the shop there. Uh, the boy is downstairs eating a free pie. Now he's our boy. Um, and, uh, let's see here. So, oh, we see, we we see they run, um, the beetle runs to the judge. We see him wearing a sick wig. We see Anthony talking to, uh, Joanna saying, I knew I'd be with you. She says, I knew I'd be with you, even though I don't know who you are. (laughs) It's Anthony. He came in, he came in off the boat yesterday. Yeah, 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 you know me. You he's know not, me. Everyone he's knows not me. He's not one of Ask those people anyone. filled with shit. Not yet. I didn't split the myth. And then... Did you have the money for the, it? Uh, no. Well, I had it, and then I gave it to her, and then I got scared. I don't know if I can marry a coward. Whoa. No, I got scared of how much uh, I wasn't afraid of that myth. <laughs> I'm a monster. I got scared of how much I wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna destroy it. Tear that myth yeah. apart. Tear that myth apart. What do you think of my hair? Do you think it'd make a good wig? Uh, let me, how would I describe your hair color? <laughs> Piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you couldn't do that. Any. You can do that. It's fine. You guys have your little thing. Cut back to the barbershop. Pirelli's there. And he's like, time for a shave. Oh, yeah. You're going to blackmail me? You're going to blackmail me. You're going to say, you're going to go tell people who I am if I don't give you a cut of my profits because you know I'm a damn good barber. You're going to blackmail me. You know what I'm going to do? Slice of your throat. Uh, he does that right in his face, insulting. Ooh. And then uh, fucking Mrs. Lovett walks up there. First off, why is she Mrs. Lovett? Where's her husband? I think it's just a nice thing to say. She's never been married. Hmm. Yeah. Lies is what I'm here. She goes up there and she's all like really like surprised. And I'm like, why are you surprised? I pretty much said in that song earlier I'd be killing people. Like, you seemed into it. But you know what? Okay, fine. He was going to blackmail me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that changes everything. Changes everything. Yeah, slice that up. And I think it's the first time I pay attention to them doing the little uh, barbershop stage, like spinning the thing, and neither one of them fall down. I'm like, that's impressive. No one fell. No one threw up. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Yeah, now the, the judge is there with Sweeney, and they're both talking about, like, yeah, we all love pretty women. We sure do love them. And I'm like, are they all supposed to look like corpses already? I know Sweeney kind of is, because they gave a description of him, and it's like, he's a corpse. And that's when fucking uh, Anthony busts in there and tells her two dads his sneaky plans. Oh. And then Sweeney's all pissed, because he got gun shy, didn't pull the trigger fast enough, and his kill got all messed up. Now everyone's mad. He had him, he blew it. Hey, Anthony, get out of here, you stupid. Why would you tell her two dads what you are planning on doing to her? We don't want to know that you're going to, like, take our, our daughter to Pound Town. Like, we ain't trying to hear about you splitting that myth. He's We're like, her two dads. Haven't you seen that sitcom? <laughs> I'm just 15. I don't know what any of these words mean. <laughs> I heard it on the street. I thought it was funny. <laughs> there are lots of things that are funny on the streets. <laughs> That's oh, fine. God. Because you know what? Now, Sweeney has an epiphany, which is, you know what? The, the rich, the poor, the good, the bad. Whatever. They all deserve to die, Kenny. They all, the, none of them did the right thing by me. Yeah. And, you know, this is all meat. And you know what? The shop could use meat. Yeah. You know what? That's what we're going to do with the bodies. We're going to turn them into pies. This is a great plan. Business is going to be booming because, you know, what? people are going to like these pies. We're going to put priests we're priests in the pie. <gasps> where they're making all these puns about the different kind of people. They can put poet pie. <gasps> oh, man. A lot of rhyming. Pooty pie. They're going to do a pooty pie. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna do a pooty pie and then you know long story short we're, we're gonna kill people and we're gonna serve them up as meat pies you know sounds good to me now before all this happens you know mo- their outfits are shit all right i don't like i don't like mrs lansbury's shirt it bothers me 
Uh, Sweeney, again, looks like he just wa- stepped out of a casket. And then fucking now they got little beggar, uh, beggar boy, uh, uh, not Anthony, uh, Toby. He's their boy now because they were giving him pies and he's like still dressed like shit. We cut back in the next scene. I guess it's been a little bit. So the pies are doing well. We got a full pie shop here. So Mrs. Lovett has some upgrades on her outfit. Still awful. Terrible style. Uh, and even Sweeney, I think, is looking sharper. Fucking Toby wearing the same goddamn rags. Okay. Mrs. Lovett changes outfits probably six times after well, this. Okay, I Toby gets a haircut. We haven't invented little, uh, children yet. Therefore, there's no need for children's clothing. Ugh, it's bad. They're bad parents. They need to raise that 35-year-old boy. That dude he eats a lot of pies. They're over like, bring us more pies, okay? We need more pies. A whole table of people. And, I, and she's like, eat them slow, though. Because, like, slow. you'll choke, though. And, uh, you know, that one dude, Anthony, he's still running around. And he's still, like, after all this time, he still thinks he's gonna, he feels that Joanna chick. Oh, he feels. Now, has she already been put into the insane asylum at this point? Not yet. They gotta make their plan to get married on Sunday or Monday. Oh, and then the judge no, it, hears about it. I thought he already sp- spoiled that. That's when he ran in and spoiled uh, Sweeney's kill. Mm, no. Are you sure? Yes. Because okay. I think he said, oh, I'll go take care of this. No, I'm pretty sure because he's not gonna go run and tell him again. No, what he does when he takes care of it is he locks her, he locks her up in the, in the house. And then oh, Anthony he tr- tries to break her out and that's when uh, she gets sent to the, or no, she gets sent to the I- I- asylum when he, she refuses the judge's advance. But I, I, I bathed in the river. Yeah, but you didn't shave. I can't. I, I, get, I get accosted I by that him. muff woman every time I step out of the stairs. She humps my leg like a mad dog. Oh, that's she my, does. That's my mom. I know. I was just like, boy, I sure hope this crazy hooker isn't important. You know how plays like to show all these unimportant people off for you know scene after scene after scene i'm just saying was anyone surprised that she was important by the end of this play well no because i had seen the movie well yeah but i mean in general i you was know, I, 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 I was surprised i think it would have been surprising i think they would have been shook if todd was surprised mostly because i don't is it the same uh actress that playing the lady at the start yeah it is i don't know yeah Doc. i assume i assume i don't know be? that it's probably in the credits to the show. I ain't going to look. He ain't going to do it. You know what? City on fire. City on fire. We're, show, we're doing not, like a mont. I mean, you know, metaphorically, we're doing like a montage of like shave murders and whatnot. But yeah. like a guy rolls in there to get a shave. And Sweeney's like, yep, got another one. Then his missus is sitting in there. He's like, fuck, now I actually have to shave him. Oh, this is embarrassing because I haven't done one of these in a. In a while, it's like, sw- is it not the, a real close do I start anyway. at the nuts? What, mm-hmm. what do I? Uh, yeah. Is that what's expected? I've been away for 15 years. Like, standards oh, yeah. have changed. Oh, yeah. Like, standards I'm, have changed. That's right. Manscaping. Get used to it, bud. Uh, I've been to prison. Oh, we forgot to say. Whoa. Where was he sent? Okay, so. America? Where did England? No. Where did England send their Australia. prison? Australia. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Where he fought crabs? Hell yeah. Click the Hayman Islands. Yeah. Clickety clack. Surprised no one brought that up in the play. <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't more tan spending 15 years in Australia. Well, I don't think he was out in the sun. I... How, are you, how are you not out in the sun? Because you, you just locked up in a building. That's, that's jail, bro. No, they probably put I didn't him to think work. They, I didn't think they like, made like, a prison what? building. I thought they just dropped him off on this island and said, here you go, you're stuck in this island now. That's what I thought well, then as how well. Do you, how do they collect you when your time's done? No, they don't. They didn't. Your like, time he, he wasn't escaped. Done. Oh, he escaped? Yeah. Oh. So if you're just going to do that, wouldn't it be easier to just kill the people? Honestly, you might as well just commit a crime and then you oh, get to go colonize a whole other island. Oh, there's probably a labor camp down there now that you say that. You're right. They're probably mining for gold or some other stuff. Is there gold in Australia? Listeners, go look that up and let us know. I bet there is. There's gold everywhere, dog. Not in my pocket. That's because okay. you've been spending it all to s- oh, split. That's right. I'm an illusionist. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Mind free. Hey, my name is Miss Lovett, free. and it's Miss Love It, because I'm really in love. I just, Ooh. oh, Mr. Todd, little kiss. Mwah. I'm so happy. Oh. Mwah. Mwah. I could Mwah. eat you up, I could. Don't you want to go Mwah. by the seaside? Playing house yeah. down oh, by yeah. the seaside. Is this I'm our really we could just it. be together, dog? 
Yeah, Dumb. this is I like. I thought a, we could just be bros. I thought we was bros. Somewhere that's green. Oh, that's a different play. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is where she's selling them. She's like, look, we're making, we're making bank. Okay, we got the best business model around. We don't have to pay for the main ingredient in these pies. All right, I can't keep them on the shelf long enough. I got tables set up. They just, they're eating it. They're still drinking my shitty ale. It's great. We got so much money. I bought this antique, slightly fire damaged organ. Okay? Do you want to hear a song? It goes like this. You sure it no. goes like this. Nope. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, not, not that one. <laughs> not that one. You should write that down. That's, that's, write that that's, down. I think you're onto something with that one. <laughs> oh, by the sea. Yeah, this is, this is her somewhere that's green song. All she wants to do is like, they're going to open a and b They're going to catch fish. They're going to, you know, she's, he's going to make an honest woman of them out of both of, of them. The fish? Of yeah. the fish? <laughs> yeah. You catch it, <laughs> you gonna marry stop, it. He's going to stop murdering <laughs> real people and start murdering sea people. While this is going on is when, yeah, Anthony's over there, like, fa- talking to Joanna, you know. Or no, he's talking to uh, the Beatle, saying, like, yeah, man, that asshole judge, like, took her and locked her up, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> and he's like, dog, <gasps> I brought her here. I'm a cop, dude and he's like, oh, shit. And they're like, get that scallywag. And I'm like, scallywag. <laughs> he's disturbing the peace by breathing. Yeah. The peace of this sanitarium. Yeah. Now, turns out yeah. Sweeney's got a foolproof way of getting in to that sanitarium. Because what was, what was Pirelli really? What was he selling? He was selling the idea of hair. Okay. Just the yeah. idea of it. Now, if that doesn't work, what's plan B? If you can't grow the hair back, what do you got to do? Wig. You gotta wig go dog, get a wig. wig. And, like, normal people ain't just gonna, like, up and shave their hair. Where are you gonna get a wig? That's Sane Asylum. Yeah! You take it from people who have no choice. Love it. And who aren't love getting paid for it. it. Love it. Just like that, that kiss at the end of that song. Oh, that was lovely. Do you remember when she kissed him? And it was funny. The audience laughed. The audience uh, sense of humor is not mine. Oh. You don't remember Mrs. Lovett's kiss to Sweeney at the end of her song? No, I remember it. Because it was all, she was all like hot. And then that's when, that's when the boy runs in there and he's like, oh yeah, forget your fancy ladies. I found the crack bow peep. And then, then Sweeney's like, yeah, we're gonna have to make you that wig maker. Oh yeah. But what happens if the wig making spiel doesn't work though, Ryan? Um, I mean, then you, you, uh, Kill him with a gun. No, come, you don't just come out and say that. Oh, you're handing me the, oh, you're serious. Oh, oh, yeah, you're ser- what well, am I Anthony supposed is to do with boy this? of the He's world. He's just waving the gun at everybody, putting it to his own he head. He points it I just, what am I everywhere. supposed to do with this? Like, hey, you, <laughs> street urchin, go fetch me a moose. Bop, 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 blap, blap. Yeah. He's, oh, man. So, you know, they're going to go off on their little mission. But to- well, Toby here, he's, he's, you know, he's getting like, hey, man, there's some weird shit going on in the city. There's people going missing all the time. To Mrs. Love, and this totally isn't creepy. He's like, I fucking protect you, like rubbing his head on her. This like, shoulders is what like that. I'm talking about. Mm. This is what Kitty's made so me soft. uncomfortable. Kitty's so soft. This is what made like, me look. envious. Aroused. So <laughs> I'll say it. I'm like, oh, you're really getting in there. Oh, she's cuddling yeah. you to her bosom, just holding you as you sing. Mm. I'm like, you jealous? That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Erection she made. <laughs> um. <laughs> And he's like, I'd protect you from ogres and shit, even though I still ain't gotten an upgrade. I love you, though. And uh, I'm like, at least they fixed his fucking hair. And he's, uh, you. he's hinting that Sweeney Todd is the monster that he's going to protect Look, her from. Demons will, demons will charm you for a smile for a while, Daniel, as he says, pointing upstairs to Sweeney Todd. And he's like, yeah, that guy, I think he's killing yeah. people. Which is rude, because he's, he's taking care of him just as much as her. And he's just got one of this, is he's got one of the mom crushes. Oedipus complex. He wants. He needs to kill the father so he can become the father. I mean, because I mean, not, it's the same it's age the as father, the father, and it's not the mother. Well, yeah, but it's his, you know, his surrogate father and mother. You know, and then she, while she decides to. Well, not while I'm around. <laughs> she decides to whip out Pirelli's purse. Ooh, right why'd you have to do him. that, like, mom? That wasn't smart. Where'd She's you like, get that That's purse? Him! Pawn, pawn shop from the boss. He bought it at the boss. Well, he wouldn't have just given it away with nah, his money No, he had, money money. He had like two it. pence in that purse. He would never pawn that purse. Well, um, he probably would have taken the money yeah, out of it before selling it, it, you ignorant skink. Hey, I may not be intelligent, but I ain't dumb. Whoa. Maybe. 
You know what? Hey, let's go to the basement. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're hey, fucking stupid. <laughs> Here's our industrial sized uh, oven for all the pies. Oh, is, it smells like death. Pies. And here's Are you the burning bodies in you... there. Whew. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pig bodies, big bodies, big pig bodies. And big you know body, big body. Mm. Now you're gonna go over here. You're gonna grind this meat three times, nice and smoothly, and boom, baby. Now you're a full accomplice. Thank, welcome to the team. Thank you, mom. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Now we've trained up Anthony. He can do all the stuff with the hair. Now he can he do knows. kung fu. He can do. Kung Fu. He knows uh, Gun Kata. Well, he's seen to- it done. Toby's down there grinding still, though. Uh, he's got hair pie. There's a pube in the meat in one of the pies <laughs> he eats. <laughs> that egg, it's a black hair, black pube. That's how we know. Uh, yeah, and I'm just like, you didn't grind it enough, job, dog, dog. Like, you got one job. And let's see, what do we got here? We got, I, I wrote surprise, but the judge, I don't remember what that was about. Um, maybe it's now, so Beetle, not the judge, but the cop guy Beetle shows up in their parlor and just lets himself like start playing on the organ. Yeah, as one does, play some mood music. So okay, so Sweeney, Sweeney set it up. He said, "Anthony, you take it to gun. You take it to gun. You go." to Ken Pirelli. To, uh, I'm Pirelli. Hey, hey. I'm the fuzz fuzz. I'm the fuzz Pirelli. Yeah. Go, yeah, yeah, sanitarium. Yeah. You go. You go get her out. If they don't let you, you take this gun, you bop, bop. And then you come, you bring her back here. Listen carefully. You bring her back here to hide. And then you're going to get a boat and you're going to take her down, like, I don't know, a mile away and live happily ever after. But then Sweeney writes a letter. Can you believe that shit? Uh-huh. I thought he was setting this up to screw over Anton. Oh, no, I knew it was bait for judge. Judge bait. You got to sprinkle some little, sprinkle some crack and it'll be sprinkle there. Sprinkle some judge bait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. And he's like, okay, judge, look, your woman, she love you now. Um, and she got sprung and she's at my, she, she's at my crib. You come over. You can st- rock that cradle. You mm, got it. Mm. Okay? You got it, dude. You got it, dude. You could do I'm gonna this, watch. dude. <laughs> I'm going to stand dude. over here. And I'm going to watch as you watch that old hand rock that cradle, dude. I don't and like w- this. <laughs> and while, while you're while you're going to pound town, yeah. I'm okay. shave your back. <laughs> and then you maybe you pour like a walrus. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You and I take like your a back hair and I make a pound. And I make, a, I, make, I make a you a mustache with it. I take your back hair and I make it your front hair. Ah. Ah. Now, uh, Anthony, though, he gets to this insane asylum and they're all complaining about this bitch who won't stop singing. Oh, my God. All these other get with the program and scream. We have a whole (laughs) choir of screamers. And this one just (laughs) wants to be special and actually like have words. No, this is a team effort. No, horrible. And, you know, they're like, all right, man, look, now I know you're just trying to take this lady after you described her beautiful golden hair. I said it looked like uh, piss. I'm going to come stab you. They're like, piss. And you're like, you know what? I can't do it. And he throws his gun down, which is the worst thing you can do. Well, that's what the, uh, the sanitarium workers like. That's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking yeah. seen. That's the craziest so shit I've ever seen here. Then the one with oh real goodness. balls, Joanna, jo- picks up the gun and she's like, get, get. She's like, yeah, I got no problem with this. But they hated my singing. They'll never give me a bad review on Yelp again. Fucking blast their asses like yelp yelp motherfucker and then they're walking out of there and he's like yeah i trust todd i trust him he's a good dude he'd never do anything weird he's my brother he's my bro does that make me your and uncle they, i don't know i don't know they get there, she's all dressed up like a sailor man and it's like oh man nobody will even know that she ain't a sailor <gasps> right we can just walk around i mean, and be sailors. I mean it, someone with it, eyes maybe Maybe, but I gotta tell you, her Sailor Man look, much better than her crack Bo Peep look. Is, is it because she, she covered her hair? I think so. Not as much hair. I mean, they did manage to have the wig, like, poking out from under the hat, so uh, you can still tell it was it, her, which is important. Which is bad. I was worried that... What were you worried about, die? bud? I was worried that Sweeney was gonna kill her. By I a, think that he should have. I think they should have, too. He was about to. He was about to, but she's she's so, uh, one of she, them fast ones. In my in the, my Korean remake that I'm uh, getting financing for right now, I, that's that's the ending. Is he kills he kills her too? Yeah. So look forward to that it. in theaters in uh, 2026. And Sweeney is played by a giant pig. Yeah. 
We got that pig yeah. from Oakjaw back. Oh, shit. Oakjaw couldn't get the one from Charles. We killed it. Yeah. Didn't the one in Oakjaw almost die, too, or did it die? It's all sad. That movie was sad. I watched um, it, and it made me sad. Actually, it did die, but, okay, so we got the baby pig, and he's all, he's all grown up okay. now. He's an actor. But if we're doing the babies, there was a baby in Charles, too. Remember when it gave, like, an angry look at the camera at the end? I, now, well, that pig wants some vengeance, you know? That pig's playing Sweeney Todd. Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what, though? It's, an all, pig pro- it's an all pig production. Oh, all pig production. But all British pig production. <laughs> okay, we're keeping it Big count on local. It. That's part of the part of our thing. That's part of the yeah. Building. We're keeping it local in Korea. It, yeah, local only Korea. British pigs. <laughs> oh god! So they get there to see Todd, but something's going on. So she like freaks out and hides in the in the body chest. I don't remember what's going on. Oh, uh, the then Beetle walks in there and he kills Beetle. He's camping this spot. <laughs> yeah, he is camping this spot. She sees the uh the the murder from the chest. And does she though? Is did did well, I miss her like popping popping the lid open a little she bit? Definitely did I miss that? hears it. Definitely hears it. That noise could be anything. Ooh, that could be a giraffe. Okay, um, that noise could almost be anything. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, next note is she's the devil's wife. She's and I don't the know devil's. And then the judge is coming. Had to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a lot of ha- all of our plot lines are collapsing now to the to this moment. So. Um, Joanna's up there. She's in the trunk. We've already killed Mr. Beetle. B- Mr. Beetle. More importantly, Sweeney has dropped the body down, and our poor baby boy, little boy, Toby, Toby sees that. He don't like that. That does not make him look happy at all. So he kind of finds out he's locked. Yeah, because he's locked down there with the dead corpse now. So he's probably gonna go. Uh, he's probably gonna lose his mind. And then we've got um, the street urchin split my muff. Who's walking around saying city on fire and like, oh, I love this mischief, mischief. And she's like, I oh, saw yeah. Be- I saw Beetle go in there. She walks up there. Beetle, where are you? I'm like, it's not that big of a barber shop, right? Like, and Beetle's you a big man. Be see him. Yeah. So, but you know what? She never looks up. She never looks up. And during her rant, she says that she's the devil's wife. So like, she just told him right there, dog, I'm your wife. I, th- I thought that mean you're just very, like, very annoying. No, that's your. That's our daughter. You think daughter. the devil's wife is annoying? Shh, I mean, I'm trying to get my vengeance on, and all you want to do is walk around. And if the if the judge comes in here and sees this, no, nah, he's gonna go. Ain't got time for that. You nasty. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> you run a nasty business. I would business. never split your myth. I'm gonna split your throat. Oh shit! Your throat. There's no time, Kenny. There's no time. Had to do it. Hate to do it. Had to do it. Sorry. Everyone gets a smile. Yep, so down the chute. Judge comes in there. All right. Hi. Where's my Hi. where's the, where's the, my dot? No, my I'm oh, sorry. <coughs> where's the girl? Where's where's the goyle? Where's the goyle? She's around. She said she said you needed to shave though, dog. She, oh, she said she said that? Yeah, I got to shave your bush. <laughs> is that is that is that what is what is that what the pretty women like now? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's why Cuz I like pretty women. Shit. Oh shit, I dog. Dog. I like pretty women. Do we just become best friends? You want to go do karate in the basement with my dead wife? <laughs> you, you like pretty women? I love pretty women. Give me a splash of pretty woman, okay? Yeah, I'll splash a pretty woman. A slice! Whoa. Wait, why would you want to do that to me? Because that was my pretty women. We like the same one. I had her first. Wait, what? Who? Wait, what? Yeah, it's me, Bob Barker. <laughs> 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 the price is right, bitch. Bob Barker! Yeah, Bob Barker. It's me. Hey. Hey. You busted. Hey, you look different. I thought Thank you'd you. be I thought you'd be Tanner. Yeah, because I said you didn't do the outback, mate. That's what you guys say there when you go to prison. Put another strip on the Bobby. And it turns out he, <laughs> he didn't just kill him because he it, it just bad jokes. He didn't like his comedy act, so he killed him right then and there. Oh yeah. my god. And that'll do it. But you know what? Finally got his ass. Now his life is in order. I'm glad nothing bad will happen to him now. I get to take this razor. Shit. I get to say, sleep now, the untroubled sleep of angels, my little beauty. Ha 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 ha. Sweet friend. You'll never have to kill again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. And then he hears like a toot from the from the trunk. Yeah. Because he rips toot. a big one. Like, well, yeah. shit. You just watched me uh, kill like three people. Come in here for a shave, did you? Yeah, you could use one. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. 
What? Your like daddy full of the like testosterone, that? is he? Yeah. Yeah, sit down. No matter what you think you heard or saw, you still need a shit. Where are you going? Ah, oh, shit. Hey, oh, okay, come. No, left. no, come back. No, you oh. gotta sit in the chair. I can't do it if you don't. Look, look, I can't. Like, after I, like, after I, like, killed the boss, now I'm just kind of, like, whatever. I'm limp. I'm limp. I'm like, I, I, anyway, I put, you know, I put them go. away. I've already put them to bed. Yeah, but, like, I'm gonna go live in the countryside with my crazy, you know, chick. I love her. You can visit us. <laughs> We're gonna open a B and B. Yeah. Bed, bath, Bi- and beyond. <laughs> bitches and boys. <laughs> bitches and boys. We got the boy. <laughs> we got, we got the, the bitch. We got the bitch. We need the and. I'm the and. Yeah, you're the and. You're the glue that holds it together. Aw, bitch. Well, you know what? What? Gotta you, get to this basement. You know why? Because Sweeney wants to see his work. Make sure it really happened. Okay. But hey, you know, Toby's down there. He kind of started to figure it out. We're, you're going to have to take care of him, dog. Because like. It's fine. Yeah. How big could a basement be? How big? It's huge. Massive. Oh, um. Uh, I. That was your wife. Wait, what? what? Yeah, uh, you killed your wife. Wait, don't no, I that's know a you? Str- that's a street urchin. No, that's my wife. That's, you that's what... lied to me. You said she died. No. 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 I said she poisoned herself. Poisoned herself. Plus, you're not gonna want to get with that myth at this. She's point. dead. <gasps> she's dead. Well, she's Lucy, dead now. No. She was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, dude. Like, but you know what? You should forgive me. Like, cause I like did you a favor. And he's like, you know what? You're right though, dog. I totally forgive you. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. See, and it's romantic. They're gonna have a nice dance. It's mm-hmm. lovely. It is I love this dance. Dancing, twirling, twirling. Miss Lovett already opened twirling. the oven doors. Yeah, chuck a bitch into the oven. Ah! Fucking just hucked her in there, and then he's standing there leaning against the oven. She's banging on the door. He said, like, "No, yeah. that's for Hansel and Gretel, bitch." Yeah, you weren't in that then, one. Oops, oopsie. Now Sorry. you know. Todd's like, you know what? I'm gonna go check on my wife. My wife. My wife. My maybe wife. she's okay. Yeah, maybe I didn't do a good. No, nope, no, nope, she's nope, dead. Nope, still, I'm real still sad dead. about it. Okay, I'm Toby. Gonna... Hey, patty cake. Patty cake baker's man. It's like, no, 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 no. no oh, pie, bake a me pie. a cake? No, a pie. Now, you shouldn't harm nobody, Mr. Todd. You should not harm. Now, he starts Don't doing you know this fucking that? voice. Mr. Todd? Why does he do Mr. this voice? Mr. Todd! Mr. Todd! You, Todd. you, you shouldn't harm, harm nobody! Nobody! Harm nobody. nobody. Oh Mr. Todd! Oh my god, Mr. Oh. Candy Mountain, oh. Charlie! Oh. Mr. Razor! Mr. Candy Mountain, Candy Mountain, Mr. Razor! Cutter, cutter! Oh, Mr. Cutter, cutter! Cutter, cutter! Mark him with the bees. Oh, I slit your throat, Sandu, Mr. Todd. Oh. Mr. Todd. Oh, sorry, Mr. Todd. This, my hand this slipped. Was, this is the moment where it really got, like, not when he was all rubbing up on Mrs. Lovett being all weird, like, this is a man being a boy. It was, why is he all of a sudden trying to do, like, a voice to make he's, him maybe sound like. He's been doing like, it the whole time. It's just really bad right here. Well, you know, it's a two-hour play. He can only do so much. It's so, oh, God. Shouldn't harm nobody, Mr. Todd. Got him! <laughs> Got him! Got him! Patty Kink! Patty Kink! Cops walk in there. Kill They're streak like, ended. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck happened here? Joanna, Anthony, they're like, oh god. And I'm like, okay. I think it's pretty obvious the little boy killed everybody. That's what <laughs> That's except, what I'm saying. Except Joanna is gonna say oh, I Sweeney get, that's killed true. two people. So. Yeah, but she's a cross-dressing woman. This is, gonna, you know what? She ain't gonna say nothing because after this, they should be just like, you know what? Didn't you break out of the institution? Get back in there. I'm gonna Get go. No, I'm gonna go there. upstairs. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, yeah. Eat a pie. It's like no. Nope. Collect my thoughts. No, I'm knowing out of this situation. No. Nope. Nope. nope out, out. Imagine. Okay, so Joanna's already pretty fucked up. Probably if I everything she's already gone through. Now imagine how fucked Kenny, up. Kenny, what, what do you ever, mean? What are you saying? What, what has she gone through? I mean, she got in prison. She almost got raped by her father figure, who wanted to just kind of marry her. Got put in the insane asylum. Shot people. Like she did all this stuff, and now she's been around all these murders. Now think about how more much more fucked up she would be if she actually figured out what happened. And she grows up to be Laura Croft. Laura Croft, womb raider. Nope. Nope. (laughs) Not that one. Because men cause all these problems. She's all for women now. Like I'm just saying, she finds out like. Yeah, that was your actual father, and he accidentally killed your actual mother, and they were manipulated by all these people. I think it's time to leave London. You know what? Yeah, go with the sailor boy that you've known for five days. 
you know what? He uh, he hasn't um, uh, killed my mom. He couldn't. He couldn't. Even, oh shit! I shot a guy. Yeah, we definitely should get out of here, shouldn't we? <laughs> the yes. Murder. Shit. Why are we still here? Anthony, I can't believe you shot those people. Anthony, you are such a brave man for shooting us out of that. Sanitarium. I mean, if she plays her cards right, so she's the judge's ward. She's gonna inherit all that shit. She gets to be the judge now. That's he, how that works. He didn't have any family that we saw, so therefore, that's practically the judge actually married me. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, no one. A lot of people didn't know that. A lot of people didn't know that. They did it. Yeah, we got married. Yes, or no, today. Just, just now. now. Just, just now. now. Just now. I know he's lying right there. See, honey? Mwah. Wake up, my <laughs> sleeping beauty. He's getting stiff from this. You see how stiff he is? I could always get him stiff. That's what he... Oh, no. that's. You want good. me to get him stiffer? Yeah, he's been saying that to me for years. For years. I know I'm yeah. 15, and it's probably weird to everyone else that this ancient man who you know raised me as a baby also married me. But we're in London. 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 Yay. Applause. We did it. Happy ending. Tend the tale of Sweetie Todd. The no. Sweetie Todd. He served a dark and vengeful god. Which one? Frank. No, Frank, the most. Yeah, Frank Reynolds. <laughs> what happened then? Well, that's the play, and he wouldn't want us to give it away. But we just watched it. And we just watched it, so you could probably tell us. Yeah. I killed some people. You wanted. And then I got killed, and I ended up killing my wife and losing everything. But you know what? No one ever did vengeance as good as I did. Mic drop. Bam. Well, yeah, but like, they're gonna say like the vengeance, you know, he got nothing out of the vengeance. Well, I don't think he would have got anything if he hadn't done the vengeance either. That lady wasn't gonna tell him that was his wife. I don't think he was gonna find out. Surely that lady isn't the only person who knows that's his wife. Maybe, maybe not. She also happened to, like, be the one who stole his blades and then happened to be there when he got off the boat. Like, a lot of coincidences in small town London. This is some classic murder she wrote shenanigans. I was Jessica gonna say, this is, some, is, this is some classic Penny Dreadful. This mm, Fair. If he doesn't go on his murder revenge spree, his daughter marries the judge, probably. Yes, because he's the one who has the way to get her out of the sanitarium. Antony does yeah. not. So his vengeance still his vengeance made saves the world his a daughter. place for some people. Yeah, so win. it was a win, win. vengeance. Yeah. Everyone's happy. I like some of the songs in this one. I don't like. I don't like all of them. Not while I'm around. That's not one of my favorite. I mean, my, my favorite song is her talking about how shitty her pies are. That that stands out really as that's a good one. One of the best ones um, here. I, l- I like how shitty London is. No place like London. That's a good one. Uh, his special friends. That's so sweet. It is. Um. Pretty much anything not involving Joanna and Anthony. Yeah, I don't I really care I like for those Anthony songs. by himself. Anthony's good. No, we're good. The Joanna lady's great. It's just not for me. Like, it's impressive that she can do that. My ears don't appreciate it, though. Like, if she was a bird singing, she would have already broken her baby bird eggs. Oh, yeah. They're, they done broke. Broke the did. Um, you know, this is good. Again, it'd be much better live, but that's like an obvious thing to say. Well, I got bad news for you, bud. Oh, shit. Every single person involved in this is dead. Even the little boy who was, Even like, really young? Even the 40-year-old little boy. I don't, I don't think, think I believe all that. Dead. I googled every single name. I don't think you did. I didn't, but you know what? I bet George Hearn is still alive. I bet he is. I'm I bet Angela right Lansbury's still alive. She's not, no. Damn it, okay, so I'm, I thought I'm, that was I'm, why I thought that was 50, why we were 50. doing this. Oh, no, I yeah, just wanted to per- do it because it was her birthday. Right, and we're celebrating her birthday because she died. No, I was just celebrating her birthday. You didn't, you didn't know she was dead. We're going to be doing this every year to celebrate <laughs> Angela Lansbury's birthday. I don't... Not, you know that she's dead? She's not dead. I just saw her give a great performance. That's true. In a way, so she she's lives mortal. on. Mm. Yeah. No, she died two years ago. Shit! Uh, <laughs> I probably knew Hearn, that. though? Probably did know He's that. still alive, and he has... He's been married one, two, three, four, five times. Ryan's only been married once. Barely. Hmm. So. Dude loves playing Sweeney Todd, though. I think he played him like three times. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good. It's a good. It's a good time. Uh, uh it's good. Um, if I'm gonna, I was gonna say, if I'm gonna watch it on TV, though, I'll probably just watch the 2007 movie. Just because, you know, you can hear things super clearly, see things super clearly. I love the cast. 
if ever a musical was designed for Tim Burton, I mean, that's the one. You Elena don't think Bonham cats Carter would way be a good hotter fit? than Angela Lansbury. Uh, it's a dark hair. Okay. Uh, too many assholes and cats, you know? I disagree. Not enough. J- James Gordon. Oh, I thought you were uh, talking about like uh, the cat assholes that they CGI'd out. <laughs> they CGI'd out the buttholes. After CGI'ing them in. Yeah. Re- Honestly, though, release the butthole cut. Release the butthole cut. Uh, it's the, uh, you know, Alan Rickman and Sasha Baron Cohen were like stellar in that. Because it's Alan Rickman and it's Sasha Baron Cohen. They killed it. They crushed it. And I like seeing them. I think that's why I would rather watch the 2007 one this again. And honestly, Toby takes me honestly, out of it. Honestly, yeah, that is a that is fair. You know who they got to play Toby? Probably a child. A child. A child. Okay, who? Kind of. He was. When did that? He's about thirteen. That's more of a child, though. He's an actual child. Damn. We don't have enough like handheld meat pies in this country. Like you can go get like a, a you know a banquet like pot pie, pop it in the microwave. You know, chicken, beef, whatever, turkey, and it's good. But it's not, a, it's not like a firm, like, thick crust, so you couldn't really do a handheld. You gotta eat it with a fork out of the little bowl thing. Like, the closest we get over here, I feel like, on a regular basis, is maybe like an, I feel like an empanada. It's just like a Hispanic version of a British meat pie. And, like, I feel like meat pies should be more of a thing over here. Like, when I see all these meat pies, I get jealous. Thought you should know. And this has been Kenny's Meat Pie Corner! Meat Pie Minute! He says as he scratches his stomach. That means something. <laughs> no, I was adjusting. I was adjusting He's my blanket. He's pulling up his blanket. Uh-huh. It's cold, sure it's cold in here. So you can it's give co- yourself more room for your tummy. <laughs> <laughs> tummy time. I love tummy time. I love, I tummy, love time. tummy time. Give myself a little tummy time while I'm thinking about meat pie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but Ryan's got Ryan's got himself like a straight razor now. I do. I, and I it feels all fancy with it's it. Fifty fifty. If I cut myself, but you know what? When you cut yourself, you don't feel it initially. So that time I was talking about where I was bleeding all over the place, that was from a razor blade, because they're so fucking sharp. It went right to the bone. I didn't even really feel it, and then it gushed everywhere. I think I was, <laughs> trying, to, sh- I think I was trying to scrape a sticker off of something. They're, they make spray for that, where you won't. Not back then, they didn't. Oh, yesterday? Sorry. This is ages ago. They're sharp, though. They're, they are sharp. I mean, I've, you've never looked smoother. That's all I'm saying. You know, you're looking real smooth, buddy. You're looking Thank at you. the top of my head. <laughs> Oh, How shit. dare you? Sorry, sorry. My bad. I'm just saying. How? I, I'm gonna tuck my chin down now. It, tuck. Do the t- chin tucks? You got? Is it insane that we go sit in a chair and trust someone we don't know with a a blade like that across our throats? Well, we assume what that they if they were murdering their customers, us, you know? word would get around, right? We could be the first. So we don't go. So I don't know the. When was the last time I went? to a place like that by myself not in the past 12 years oh your wife goes with you while you get your haircuts yeah she holds his hand well my wife gives me my haircut oh so you could have just said i don't go to barbers anymore but my daughter is always around it's a requirement in the contract (laughs) (laughs) okay hey that's fair his daughter's always around for my haircuts too (laughs) that's uh, and so is my wife why is that daniel my wife (laughs) i don't don't know i don't know Uh. Neither one of them around for mine, so this is odd. I'll have to get them next. I'll get you next time. We'll we'll get everybody on the island. We'll all get haircuts. What island? The island. The big island, Daniel. The island in the sun. Aren't the place all you- I, I, what? No, Doc. You're, you're going to thrive there. Your skin? Oh, buddy. Thriving. You're going to bury your toes in the sand, and you're like, this is the life for me. Not this shitty London. Did I tell you I got sunburned? By the UV reflection <laughs> off the pool water. I don't think that's possible. I had to, D- I, Daniel, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Because I was under an umbrella. We lathered Christine up with sunscreen. And I'm like, go swim. And then I sat there with my umbrella under it. Okay, for a good three hours. And then I come in and Zoe's like, you got sunburned. I'm like, no, no, cannot be. So then I had to look it up. And it's just as light will reflect off of surfaces, UV light will reflect off a surface, and turns out, Daniel, you know the best surface for UV light to reflect off of? Water. Water. Water! Was it so, like, was your chin burned? Uh, it's so the, it, it was normally, so normally the sun would come from the top down, and this one it was, like, neck, uh, face, a side of my arm. Basically the side yeah. that was positioned towards the pool water, that's the he side. like a 
free that got a little bit pink. And I'm like, what the you hell? You ever is sun this? your anus? I don't have the patience to hold that position. Same. Have you exposed all your body to the sun? I've exposed all my body to the moonlight in Japan. Okay, that was, I didn't ask that. Didn't want to know that. I had Explain. to pivot. Well, I told you I went to the public bathhouse. Oh, it was outside? Was it a hot spring? No, no, no. So th- there was, it's a, my only first bath experience. So I don't know if they're all like this, but part, part of it was inside. And that's where you had, um, there was actually, there was an inside pool too that you could go sit in. But then there was also an outside. And that part had some like frosted glass. I'm pretty sure everyone in the hotel over could still see the whole show if they wanted to. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm like, yeah. you know what? I'm just going to stand up and look at the moon. Yeah. And you did. Yeah, it's awakened something. Did we you, all, we got to go back and do that it. When you were looking at that moon, we was looking at the same moon over here. I, f- I figured you probably weren't doing the same thing I was. No, but. we were. Okay. Well, I, uh, while you were looking at that moon, I was probably taking a shit in this bathroom <laughs> that was catching this like wind from the ocean. Because we were at the beach and I like, had like big openings to let the wind and stuff come through. And it was a breezy day. And I'm like, this is great. It's like I'm shitting in the ocean. I like that. All water goes to the ocean, Kenny. All water goes to the ocean. Uh, you know what? Were there some dudes swinging some major dong in there? Or was it impolite to look? How are you? You cannot not look. Right? You got to stare. It's polite. You don't stare. It's, you just look, you know, it is what it is. It's a good time. That's what I'm saying, Daniel. It's a good time. <laughs> hey! <laughs> just like Sweeney Todd. Just like Todd would do. Oh, God. Uh, what's your favorite musical? Phantom of the Opera. Dale? I'm going to be a classic uh, uh, generic white person and say Hamilton. Well, I haven't seen it. I've only listened to it, but I'll say Hadestown. Hadestown, yeah. I, was, I thought about saying Hadestown. But like, does it count if I haven't seen it? I haven't seen it either. I've only listened to it, but I want to see it. Uh, Kim would probably say Phantom or possibly Wicked. Wicked's good, too. I mean, Les Mis is also... It's- With the huge Jackman? I never saw it with... No. Wait, what? No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no, 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 not that. No. <laughs> we didn't like the Les Mis with the huge Jackman? I'm trying to think. Did I see Les Mis with huge Jack? You know what? I haven't seen it. I got a I thing. I haven't watched it's it It's a prejudice either. where if it's a musical that's turned into a movie musical, I'd rather just watch the musical and not the movie. Hmm. Why? Uh, it's, if I want a movie, I want a movie because I know they're doing a lot of movie tricks. If you're doing a stage production, you can't do any of that shit. So you see like how everything's done on stage. And I, 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 want, the, I want a different experience. Fair. But that's why I like, I like to go to the theater for that experience. Because then you can really see it. Yeah, but imagine yeah, but like then going yeah. to have seen your Cats. Wife, and that you would and your just wife be go Exit out the back alley of a theater and you both get fucking shot. And then well, only because she scarred. won't listen to me about directions. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is not this the is alley true. we're supposed to be in. Everyone gets real nervous when their kids are always like, "I want to grow up to be Batman." It's like, <laughs> he's like, you know what? I'm writing you out of the will no. right now. Writing you out. Yeah, ah, uh, you ain't gonna be Batman. Ah, uh, you gonna be Batman? You get nothing. You're the Rat King. <laughs> <laughs> Rat you get King. To be street Rat King. number two. Number two. Uh, okay, but what if it was a movie musical that was made completely like there is no musical. Uh, uh, stage performance. It's just a movie musical. So Moulin Rouge. Yeah, I like or Moulin Doctor Horrible. Doctor Horrible. Yeah, um, I like Doctor Horrible. Or the musical episodes of Buffy. I like the musical episodes of Buffy. Repo Genetic Opera. Or was I that like Repo, Repo the or? Genetic Opera. Um, Beetlejuice. Hell yeah! I hear you can get a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they told from, me I, they told me I couldn't vape in there. And I said I couldn't ha- give this guy a hand job on the second date. I said, "Do you know who I am?" I do you know who I am? Who are you? God goddamn I don't Senator. remember my name. I'm Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice. <laughs> we do crazy stuff for Beetlejuice, everybody knows. Musicals are wild, man. What's the last musical you've seen in person? Phantom of the Opera. And I'm going to go see it again. Chinese Phantom of the Opera? Uh, the last one was Chinese. The one I'm going to go see is a New York company coming down. Mm, not on Broadway anymore, though. That's, fi- that's fine. I oh, would love okay. to Did see you? Little Shop of Horrors. Mm. Yeah, that's top tier. Because that, that would just Wait. be crazy to see a puppet like that. But you'll watch that movie, though, right? I think it was a, 
so it was a stage play before it was a that got turned into a musical yeah but you would watch the rick moranis movie oh he got me daniel right that's because he saw that first i saw it first so it doesn't count he got me uh but it's better than anything it's perfect probably well i don't know haven't seen the stage play yeah but it's not gonna have rick moranis are you sure I'm pretty sure he did come out of retirement, but that seems to be so far exclusively for uh, shrunk my children content. What? I don't look. Don't even worry about it. OK. Ain't gonna, ain't I couldn't gonna get him for you. Ghostbusters, but they shrunk my children. I think the timing was slightly off, at least for the first of the new ones. But I feel like he was back out of retirement for the second one. So it's kind of odd. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Uh, I don't remember what the last one I watched live was. We go to a lot of random performances here. Nothing huge. Probably. uh. No, that was a dance one. That was no, was that sing? no? That was just dance. A ballet. I was at a ballet most recently. Ooh, I tell you, I saw Swan Lake. No, you never tell me shit. Waste of goddamn time. What was that yeah. opera? Can we do we Mama Mia too? Yeah, I don't know. Did, did people die? Um, I think they did three Mama Mias. Well, I haven't seen point. two okay. yet. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say. If 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 I haven't like shit the bed by, by asking you to watch this one, there's another one, Jekyll and Hyde. The musical, okay. Um, who's the Baywatch actor? Pamela Henderson. The other one, no, other one. Oh, you mean the Hasselhoff? The Hoff. The Hoff as Jekyll and Hyde in this musical. I feel like that's bad. I'd watch I, that. I don't know because I, I know it's that. that there. It's on YouTube. It's the only place. I mean, you can buy it for like a hundred thirty dollars. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Right, or you can watch it on YouTube. You know what else is out there though? There's like this odd like VHS recording floating out on the internet there of uh, Evil Dead the musical. We saw now, that. Now that's a musical. We saw that. I've, se- I've seen it like three times at this point. I should also say I've also seen Rocky Horror. That's I guess, a I guess that's Now that a was a good one, time. That's a good time. That was a great time. Any show you can go to where you can get covered in just everything is a good time. That's a real 4D covered, experience. Daniel's looking at him too. Covered in those S's and those kisses. Mm, cover me in kishish at your show. No, I was thinking covered in everything. What all is included in everything? Because there's uh, well, a lot of different bodily like, fluids. Like Carolyn de Brewer. <laughs> covered in a good <laughs> casket of Carolyn. Uh, yeah. It's a bonding experience. Yeah. Yeah. Now everyone knows we like musicals over here. We like them. We like them. You might get another one out of us. Maybe. We got another one in us. I don't know. Probably. Maybe the sequel to this? Did they make a sequel to Sweeney Todd? Yeah, Sweeney no. Todd 2. Uh, they made a sequel <laughs> to Phantom. Uh, look, okay. Look. I haven't... Sh- haven't seen it. I've heard some things. Love Never Dies? Love, like that? They end up at like a fucking carnival? Love Never Dies. You know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's do it, brah. Let's... How long could it be? Five hours? Let's probably do it. two and a half hours. I have half Korean... Hours horror movies to get through in that amount of time, Daniel. Why are you... I didn't make the movie. Every single Korean horror movie, you're like, we should watch and review this. Well, it's, it's been not two my, it's, and a half all, hours. Every Korean movie is two and a half hours. I Ain't got nothing an, to do with me. I can, I can cut an hour out of all of them. Guy. This guy. This guy. Didn't appreciate Chaz. Didn't appreciate Zombie Island. That our favorite Korean horror movie, Zombie <laughs> Island, he did not like. Could you imagine? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> or the all the gang falling down Zombie that Island. Mm. Well, well, well. Oh, well, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Attend the well. tale. It's in the pod. Oh, we had to watch Sweetie Todd. <laughs> Ryan had a great big time. His host, they said, I'd never mind. It made him sad. A Sweetie Todd. Oh, when someone doesn't like the thing that you're real excited about, is that a bummer? He's gonna cut it. <laughs> is that a bummer? <laughs> it's a real bummer. I was it's real sad. I was look. I, I knew it's not everyone's cup of. It's not everyone's meat pie. I knew, but you know what? Look, it's still a, it's, it's a still damn enjoyable. good. It's a damn good Angela Lansbury performance. It freaks me out. Happy birthday, Angela. Also, did you ever watch all those murder she wrote movies? I know. I wish. I know we went through and watched all the shows. We'll there do it for Murder She Pod, mm. our new podcast on Patreon. It's one of our many. One of our many Geo Dudes. Geo Dudes, well. Murder She Pod, One Piece at a Time. 
Well, um, as well, as always, well. Take two. I've been your horrible host, Kenny, reminding you to ask, are you my wife before you kill anybody? I'm... Your 35-year-old boy. Your 35-year-old <laughs> little boy, Daniel. I just telling you, Mom, Mom, no one's gonna hurt you. No one's gonna make you cry. I don't remember the song. <laughs> no one's gonna make you <laughs> cry. I think that might be a different singer, Daniel. <laughs> and you hit an octave, Discord cut it out, so I don't even know what everything is he said. I think that's uh, we'll f- George Michael. We'll find out. Oh, oh God. 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 Beat the feet, the feet. <laughs> I'm just saying, if it actually makes your hair grow, I don't care if it smells like piss, looks like piss, or if it's piss, Ryan. <laughs>